Radioactive, Marie and Pierre Curie, A Tale of Love and Fallout, is a graphic novel written and illustrated by Lauren Redness. The book tells the story of the pioneering scientific couple, Marie and Pierre Curie, and their groundbreaking research into radioactivity. Redness uses a combination of text and illustrations to explore the scientific and personal lives of the Curies and the lasting impact of their discoveries on science and society. The book begins with a brief introduction to the Curies and their work, before diving into a more detailed exploration of their research and personal lives. The narrative is divided into three sections, each focusing on a different aspect of the Curie's story. The first section, titled The Matter of Science, explores the scientific discoveries that led to the Curie's work on radioactivity. Redness explains the complex science behind radioactivity in simple, accessible language, while also detailing the struggles and setbacks the Curies faced in their research. If you'd like to listen to this book on Audible for free, you can click the link in the description below. If you'd rather read this book, I've added a link to Amazon. Please feel free to leave a comment suggesting another book you'd like me to summarize. Now back to the summary. The second section of the book, The Matter of Love, delves into the personal relationship between Marie and Pierre Curie. Redness presents a nuanced and intimate portrait of the couple, showing both their deep love for each other and their struggles to balance their scientific work with their family life. The section also highlights the gender biases and discrimination that Marie faced as a female scientist in a male-dominated field. The final section of the book, The Matter of Death, explores the impact of the Curie's discoveries on society, including the development of nuclear weapons and the long-term health effects of exposure to radiation. Redness examines the ways in which our understanding of radioactivity has changed over time and the ongoing debates about the risks and benefits of nuclear energy. Throughout the book, Redness uses a striking visual style to complement her storytelling. The illustrations are created using a variety of techniques, including cyanotype printing, a process that produces blue-toned images by exposing paper to light. The result is a visually stunning book that captures the beauty and complexity of the Curie's work. One of the strengths of Radioactive is the way in which Redness blends science and storytelling. She uses scientific explanations and historical anecdotes to illuminate the personal lives of the Curies, while also showing how their work had broader societal implications. Redness does an excellent job of balancing the scientific and the personal, creating a book that is both informative and emotionally engaging. Another notable aspect of the book is Redness's treatment of Marie Curie's gender and the discrimination she faced as a female scientist. Redness does not shy away from the sexist attitudes and biases that Marie encountered, and she presents a nuanced and sympathetic portrait of the challenges that Marie and other women faced in the scientific community. By highlighting these issues, Redness helps to contextualize Marie's achievements and to underscore the importance of recognizing the contributions of women in science. One of the book's most striking features is its visual style. Redness's use of cyanotype printing gives the illustrations a haunting, otherworldly quality that complements the book's subject matter. The use of different types of paper and print techniques also adds texture and depth to the images, creating a sense of visual richness that draws the reader in. Despite its strengths, there are some limitations to the book. The narrative is at times disjointed, with abrupt shifts in focus and perspective that can be jarring. Additionally, the book is not always clear about its intended audience. While the text is accessible and engaging, the scientific explanations can be overly simplistic for readers with a background in science, while the historical and personal details may be too complex for those who are less familiar with the subject matter. Please click the subscribe button and head down to the description below to listen to this book for free on Audible. See you in the next summary.